This question or this scenario is a cupboard again, very similar to the one before. Let's take a look. So we have a cupboard attached to the wall by a screw. The forces involved are weight, okay, force from the screw, and the reaction force from the wall. And asking us what, which one shows us a cupboard in equilibrium? Ooh, forces and equilibrium. Take a vote, pause the video if you need more time. Try and see which one you think is a cupboard in equilibrium just by looking at their arrows. So if we use the shortcut or like the, the trick from the previous question, we can check the line of action of each forces and see if they intersect at one point. Means the well, forces about, uh, about that point is zero. Let's try that shortcut. I like shortcuts. Look at A, line of action is along this line. W is down. R is kind of like that. Mm, the line of actions don't really cross anywhere, so you can't really choose a point and say, ah, talk about that zero. Mm. Okay, never mind. Let's look at B. We have one line there, one force there, another force there. Ooh. Let me redraw that properly and see if they actually intersect. So two forces are already intersecting. What about the third one? Hey, look at that. They do intersect. In fact, they intersect at a point right there, which happens to also be the nice center of gravity for this object. Nice. So in this case, you can say there's a net torque of zero because all their lines of action intersect. So I would choose B to solve it. Let's check the others just to be sure. Line of action, line of action, line of action. Wow, this is everywhere. Looks like R and S are kind of like top of a couple. So this R, this S, kind of like a couple because they are, looks like they're same magnitude but different direction. So it's going to cause your poor cupboard to go like wham here and then this side will go down. It just goes whoosh. Doesn't, doesn't quite seem correct. <laughs> okay. Mm. Next one. S is pointing in a very strange direction. Shouldn't this S force be holding the cupboard to the wall? Why is it pointing out? Straight away you can see that mm, this S something wrong already. But anyway, let's check the line of action. Line of action. Line of action. Line of action. And the line of action. There we go. Oh, look at this tricky question. The lines of action intersect. There's just one problem with this thing. Your S force is pointing the wrong direction. The screw, if you draw it out, I don't know how to draw a screw nicely. Imagine that's a gigantic screw. The screw is supposed to hold the cupboard to the wall, so it should be pointing inside the wall or this way or however you want to draw it, but not outside. So although the line of actions intersect, I'm sorry, D, not you. So the answer in the end is B. Be very careful, check lines of action, but like in D, you need to make sure the forces are pointed in the correct direction in the first place. Weight is down, reaction force is pushing out and the screw is holding it in.